get out the way. Who got a watch? Who got the time? I'm raising the clock. Even in my feelings, grind don't stop. Welcome back, Nail Queens. It is time for the August Cards Pick collab. If you don't know what this is, what I'm basically doing is using this manicure roulette card game by the company Dr. Prince & Co to decide my Manny fate. And every single month I do a Manny challenge called the Cards Bit Collab. So you can enter into this challenge for a chance to win a custom set of press on nails designed by me. I own a small press on nail business. So I love making those designs for the winners of these contests. So first things first, I'm picking a color palette theme. This month I'm only drawing two cards and the first card is Santorini. So these are the four colors I get to play with for this theme. Next up, after the color palette, I select the art theme. So I just showed you the color palette. These are the colors we get to play with, but the art theme decides the style, kind of like what design we're going for. So I'm gonna shuffle these cards and pull out an art theme card and the design that was picked is come on carol pick this card already oh my goodness turn it over all right there ocean waves that took forever sorry about that ocean waves and santorini so basically the way the collab works is you create a mani set using the color theme like color palette and the art theme and then post it either on instagram or my facebook group or even email it to me and you're automatically entered into the contest so first things first i'm going to press prep my press on nails i'm going to use these melody Susie nail files they recently sent over a bunch of different files so i'm playing around to see which ones i like best on press ons i do think the finer higher grit number works best for removing that little tab that's always at the edge of the press-ons it always sticks out then i take the opre nail tip primer prep and i scrub that like i'm i'm very forcefully scrubbing this liquid into the press-on nail what this basically does it chemically etches the tip so that the gel that you're going to put on top of it adheres really well if you're doing dip powder over tips it's really not a step that you have to do but for gel gel does not like to stick to smooth surfaces so having that liquid etch helps the gel stick so much better now it's time to get to the fun stuff and that's laying down the colors on the tips. Nail Reserve sent over some beautiful colors for me so I'm going to be using two of them here in today's video. I want to go for like a sandy beachy wavy kind of feel so I'm going to be using nude for that beach vibes and the, the beautiful blue over here I'll have it all linked down below to give you that oceany wave vibes. These colors were absolutely perfect for this theme and this design. And don't worry, we're going to be putting some fun accents in there with like um, studs, like pearls and little seashells and everything. And I'm going to be doing a pool water design in a little bit. But I'm laying down all my nudes first right here. And what I'm doing on this nail is a little mixture of beach and water. So I put the nude down and I cured that and now I'm overlapping a little bit of the blue over that and covering the rest of the nail so that's going to be basically the water cr are like crashing up on the shore and everything so that's what i'm doing here and i diffuse the blue a little into the nude i wanted to put glitter on the thumbnail i wanted to like have a splash of sparkle on here to add some like uniqueness and everything so i had two different blue glitter containers they're very very stiff mylar like glitters and i realized very very quickly i was not liking how these looked and how they laid on the nail i tried with the light blue here but it's like crystals and this one sticks up worse than the first one i tried i was just like not really really feeling how these were laying down so eventually i just wipe it all off and i found this like glitter container i got from timu i believe and I've never opened, as you can tell, and there's this weird film once you open the container over it, but whatever, I got it open, and I'm using that same brush again, and I'm sprinkling on this glitter, just kind of giving it like an ombre style, and it didn't look that great at first, but once you play around with the glitters and manipulate them to make sure there's not too many large pieces and not too many, like, not enough, like, not not enough small pieces, that was like... <laughs> a little riddle right there 
Then it laid down beautifully. I'm taking this glitter top coat from the Painted Desert. They're incredible, by the way. You should totally get these. And I'm putting it over the entire nail. And I'm going to use this on every single nail later on. And you will see that. It's basically going to add a beautiful blue sparkle to all the nails. I didn't want to just do nude. I wanted to have like that sparkle that sand tends to have when you're looking at the beach. And then, of course, it's a top coat, so it is going to dry tack free when I cure it in my nail lamp, but I'm going to be doing more work on top of these nails. So after it cures in the nail lamp and I pop it out, I'm going to use a sponge buffer, buffer from Melody Susie to buff off the surface and shine of the top coat. Don't worry, it will not take away the sparkle. And I'm going to use my protein bond and add some, like, etch some liquid etch that's what I like to call this it's a primer and it basically leaves a tacky surface on top of whatever you put it on that way I can do more gel designs on top of it so what I'm doing here is taking a milky white gel polish and I'm applying a thin coat of that to the nail then I'm taking gel top coat and putting that on my little nail art palette and I'm taking a dotting tool and I'm gonna put random dots all over the blue spots on the nail the reason for this is because you want to use a milky white gel polish over whatever blue you're working with to create that pool water effect. It's not really that visible, like you can see it depending on like how the light glimpses, but it's not that easily visible from my camera view. I think I should have used either a darker blue or more of a like concentrated milky white so it looked more apparent, but I wanted it to look like water water <laughs> no, I'm just, why did I say it like that I don't know but I love that pool water effect I've been seeing it everywhere and I just really wanted to do something cool for this Manny design using that pool water effect also please bear with me my voice has been cracking because I've been sick for over a week now and um yeah I'm trying I'm hanging in there I'm I feel like I'm at the tail end of it so please bear with me <laughs> I need to go hydrate all right, I'm doing the pool water effect again on this full nail here. I painted the whole thing blue with two coats of that blue. I added a milky white, and I did not cure the milky white. I think the trick to the pool water effect is apply the milky white over your color, do not cure, and then do droplets of gel top coat or gel base coat all over the nail, and it will give you the effect that you're looking for. When I was satisfied with that, I cured it in my nail lamp for 60 seconds, and then I'm gonna come back and apply that beautiful shimmery blue top coat that I was telling you about from the Painted Desert. They released four glitter top coats this past fall, so almost a year ago, I believe, and they're just simply beautiful. They really elevate and change a whole manicure. They bring it from dull to so fabulous, in my personal opinion. I've been using these a lot lately, and I really enjoy them. So next up, I want to add some gold little seashell gems to the nails. So I'm wiping them clean real quick after I buffed them. And I'm putting this like thick like builder gel where I want to put the gems. That's what I've been using to apply these kinds of like trinkets and gems and pearls and stuff. So I just apply it over that builder gel and then I cure it in my lamp for 60 seconds. And I find that the gems hold really, really well unless you are a picker if you find yourself like not liking texture and raised designs you may find yourself picking at them but it's fine it doesn't like destroy the whole nail if you pick them off just glue another one back on so yeah i just use the builder gel to apply the seashells and it seriously secures them so well and so strongly I recommend working with like a more solid builder gel, not something that's super duper runny. You want something on the thicker consistency side and it'll be a great kind of builder gel to secure your gems and pearls and um, 
what else do they call them? I keep calling them gems. I'm like, I really don't know what to call these, like seashell trinkets. I'm like thinking about the Little Mermaid where she like wants all the things. Now this one's a very big shell, so I needed a bigger dollop of gel as you can tell. And then I cure that. And once it's all done in the nail lamp and they've all cured for the whole 60 seconds, that's when I come back and I top coat all of them. And I think the top coat really makes the difference when you're working with a thick builder gel like this because you can see it's a little bit raised. So after this cures in the nail lamp, you're probably like, well, how do I obscure all that gel that's on the side? Take a top coat and run it all around the nail, but also all around the sides of those pearls and those beads and those gems and everything. And trust me, go over that builder gel that you applied because you don't want tacky builder gel being exposed to your nails and then touching that with your bare hands later on. So make sure to go over that builder gel as well with your top coat, cure that in your nail lamp, and it will look absolutely stunning and flawless and you will hardly, like truly hardly be able to say if there was like a little lump from any builder gel. And lastly, I want to work on the 3D raised textured seashell design that I did on the thumbnail. In order to do that, I use cactus jelly from the Painted Desert. Is this cactus jelly or rubber base? I don't even know, it's one of the two. And I use my liner brush to pick up a good size dollop and I basically use that to drag the thick gel over the surface, making sure it's giving me like that teardrop shape. And if you're not confident with doing like all six or eight um, little swoops on the sides at a time, then do one and then cure in your lamp because that's what I was doing. I was doing one curing, did one on each side, cured, two more, and I cured. So this is the finished manicure, the finished design with the pool water and all the like sparkle and gems. I think this turned out absolutely fabulous. It's very simple and I love how simple it is, yet it has so much going on, but it's not like too busy. And I think that's what I love the most about this mani design. And you already know I had to put it on. Um, so here in this video right here, I have them applied with sticky tabs, but the very next day I decided to take them off and apply them with glue because I love this so much and they're just so perfect for summer. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget this contest is going on all the way until August 31st. So read the top of the description box for details on how to enter. And if you don't have social media or you don't feel comfortable sharing your nails on social media, you can always email me your entries to be entered to win the giveaway. So thank you guys so much for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Now you